nice. Hey YouTubers, Grimmy Dragon here, and it's time for another review. And this week we're actually taking a look at a PopmCon find. Um, as you probably will know, I went to PopmCon a couple weeks ago and got something really nice there. And that something happens to be today's review subject. Transformers R.I.D. 2000 or car robots, Scourge, <laughs> or sometimes I call them Nemesis Prime or Black Convoy, but in the US TV show he was known as Scourge. And today we're looking at him. Okay, now starting off with the vehicle mode, you got a really cool looking tanker, and look at all that Rome. And both sides have at least one pan have one panel that is completely chromed out. And given this is probably getting to be about 15 years old or so, well, roughly give or take, you know, um, it's actually holding very well. I mean, the chrome hasn't chipped or anything. This is a really nice looking tanker. Nice! How dare you say nice when you're talking about this deliciously evil looking tanker. I mean, look at that blood red windshield and all that delightful teal. This is not nice. This is evil incarnate and you must respect that. Okay, okay, okay. Just simmer down. He looks real cool. I dig the vehicle mode, okay? Fine, fine, get it on with it. <laughs> Alright. So, we got some good rolling. And he rolls well. The uh, tanker actually does turn since it's just a peg that holds it in. So, I dig that. And as the other side was saying yeah he has some nice metallic details like well metallic teal details along the hood sides top of the car or truck whatever and along the back wheels like uh well this thing that covers the back wheels but it is done very well you even got uh chrome hubcaps which is awesome Really wish they'd do that in the modern toys. But, uh, yeah, I mean, now it does have some action features. Well, one action feature that can be used from vehicle mode. Wait, one of the action features works from this mode? I didn't know that. Okay, let me get a good look here. What does it do? Well, you know, the disc launcher actually does still. What are you doing? What are you doing with fire? Funny. But yeah, it, it does work. Fine, I'm out of here. <laughs> Good riddance. But anyway, yeah, this works nicely. You'll use that word. Shut up. And sorry, folks. Uh, he, like I said, he's a little antsy about that. But it does work. So. That's a plus. Now, he has other action features, but they're better weighted. Better you wait for a robot mode. Uh, I will say one thing that the sword he comes with does store at the bottom of the vehicle. But I think it's time we got some comparisons in. We'll take the trailer off to make this a little easier. But. You know, first and foremost, this guy got a newer figure recently, like, a, what, a couple years ago? 
Yeah, I think it was a couple of years ago when TFCC repainted that um, Laser Prime uh, from Reveal the Shield into Scourge as well. So you can see where this one got all the hints from this one. But since this is the American version, it has the Decepticon symbol on the door instead of the Combatron symbol. Which was an upside down V2 Autobot symbol. But uh, that's uh, one difference between them. Among the more obvious ones. <laughs> but uh, we got some others. We have uh, the Transformers Prime, Nemesis Prime. Again, this one took a lot of hints from this one, including the teal decals, and the nice blood red windshields. Not arguing this time? It, it works for that. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, looks real cool. And honestly, I still think the, that this particular Scourge is still the best. Um, you know, it does a whole much right, even though it's a repaint of an Optimus Prime. Which, ev which makes sense since every Nemesis Prime or Scourge or Black Convoy is a repaint of Optimus. This being the uh, G2 Laser Prime. Although he doesn't have any of the lights and sounds. Which is sad, but he doesn't need them. Anyway, here's uh, Nemesis Prime from R.I.D. for Transformers Adventure more accurately. Yeah, R.I.D. and R.I.D. <laughs> yeah, the, that name's been used quite a bit. As you can see, again, a lot of cute... This guy create a lot of traditions that are used in later Black Primes. And last but not least, uh, kind of a black sheep of the group, the uh, Legends Nemesis Prime. And you may notice that that is the only flat nose ne um, black optimus that I have. I don't know, I think um, Scourge is always meant to be a long nose truck. So, uh, that's just how I feel about it. But, enough of the vehicle mode. Let's get him into robot mode and see how he looks there. Now that we have Scourge in his robot mode and all his wicked glory. Oh, much better. Thank you. Now get back to work. All right. Yeah, we have him fully transformed and he looks awesome. And... The way that he turned out is amazing, and it, it the teal, the black, the gray, and there's a lot more gray in this mode than in the vehicle mode, but he looks amazing. And we'll get down to articulation first. He has a left-right swivel at the head. Can pull off a little looking up and down, but not by much. Just due to the way the transformation goes. Um, you have forward backward swivels at the shoulder, in and out, bicep swivel, nice 90 degree elbow bend, no wrist, unfortunately, but does have a ratcheted waist, really cool, ratcheted hips, in and out, no thigh swivel. It's sad, but uh, he does have a nice um, bend at the knee. You're using that word again. What else am I supposed to use for articulation? And he also has a little bit of bend at the forward back at the ankle. But yeah, you can get him in some awesome poses.
and the, the lack of thigh swivel will make some of them a little more difficult. But yeah, he looks awesome. I do like him quite a bit. Uh, getting a closer look at the head, you can see it's a prime head, but it is well done. I love the teal highlights and the blood red eyes looking like he's ready to kill you at any moment. Which really looks pretty nice. Pretty awesome. Um, and as you can see, if he wants to kill you, he can do it. He's got shoulder mounted cannons and an awesome sword of fury made of translucent red plastic. Darth Vader, eat your heart out. And he does have a lot of prime features to him, like you got the the faux windshield chest, uh, the faux grill belly, and he even has Decepticon symbols on his shoulders, which the uh, Japanese version did not have, but it's on here. Now, all in all, I think he looks great. Now some comparisons. Let's bring in Prid Nemesis Prime, who's a Voyager class, about the same like the same size, so he's got such a tiny head compared to Scourge. It's amazing. Um, we'll bring in the TFCC Scourge. Again, you can see where the cues were taken on this one from this guy. Although he does have a little bit more leaner look. And he's also tiny. <laughs> we'll get uh, the new R.I.D. Nemesis Prime. Or Transformers Adventure Nemesis Prime. I keep forgetting the keep that Japanese name in mind. Dance! Hey! Don't be so mean! I am mean! That's why I stuck you! <sighs> okay, well... Hey, what am I going to do with him? Anyway, uh, here's last but not least the uh, Transformers Legends um, Nemesis Prime. So you can see he Scourge really did inspire a lot in future Black Convoy releases. I don't believe he was the first. He was the first one to uh, make a media appearance, but, uh, you know, they had Nemesis Primes before him. Well, Black Prime repaints before him. I think the first one was actually uh, a Black repaint of Power Master Prime. But, uh, yeah, Scourge was the first one to actually get a media appearance and really establish him as a villain. Which is awesome, and I do appreciate the character and figure for that. I also really liked him on the show. So, we have one last feature to look over for him. Because... Right now, we've only looked at half of the figure for the robot mode. Because, you know, the robot's made of only the cab. We still have a whole trailer to look at. I'm going to have to back up the camera real quick. Because we need the room. And let's see, we'll start by moving this here. So to transform this battle station, it has some you know spring-loaded features. So first thing we do is actually flip that down. And there's a button. And if you have the discs in there, they will launch out by mistake. But as you can see, we got a battle station mode. 
with a piece that doesn't want to go all the way down. But whatever. It's a really cool battle station. Flip it over and we'll get all the features to it. So, first up, we'll bring out all the parts. So, get that. Got a cannon here. Flip out cannon that, well, not a flip out, uh, pull out cannon that you attach. Yeah, it's a little parts forming. What can you do? So many, only so many hinges one can put into a toy. And speaking of hinges, that's on a ratchet, so you can still use the disc launcher. Which we will reload right now because all the discs launched out. And yeah, it's supposed to come with five or six discs. I only got three. Um, but I'm not worried about it. But uh, just so you know, it's supposed to come with five or six. Now the little missile launcher here, this little cannon, does fire missiles. You get two of these. And I guess technically you're supposed to keep one stored in there, but if you do that, it has a really bad effect on the missile itself. And as you can see, this one was actually stored within here, but it doesn't quite work out as well as it should. So probably not a good idea to do that. Let the missiles just slide on. You have this little air pump thing, so you just... And it launches. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. These fire as well. And it's nice that they're on individual launchers. I think that's pretty cool. And well, obviously you just stand them normal. You can just stand on there and look intimidating. Well, his battle sh uh, station really does a lot of damage. But, it also holds his other weapon. A little twin-barreled handgun. Which I do appreciate it, um, having two functions. You can have it on the base. Which it looks pretty awesome on the base, or you can have it in his hand, have him ready to shoot you with even more firepower. Even though he has guns on his shoulders. But, uh, yeah. This is an awesome set. And there is one more comparison we need to do that I almost forgot. What? What did you possibly forget? Come on, this isn't professional. You should have this one ready. It'll only take a minute. And that comparison, of course, is RID 2014 Optimus Prime. I can't believe you took three weeks to find that thing. It wasn't three weeks, it was two minutes. Tops. Now it felt like three weeks. Now it was only two minutes. Three weeks. Two minutes. Three weeks. Two minutes. It's two minutes. Okay. It was three weeks. Uh, it's only two minutes. Anyway. <laughs> As you can see, they do go pretty well together, although Super Mode Optimus does tower over 
Scourge. So why don't we see how he looks without the armor compared to Scourge. So yeah, um, here's Optimus and Scourge a little bit more uh, closer together in size. Man, he does shrink without that armor, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, but uh, it's not about Optimus, it's about Scourge. So, yeah, I mean, Scourge scales well with the um, R.I.D. figures that he was meant to be with, so he goes pretty well. Um, one last comparison, I know I've got a lot of these, but let's bring in Ruination. What the? What is wrong with Ruination? He looks like a midget! He's using a G1 mold, okay? He's gonna be small. But still, they could have upsized it a little bit, couldn't they? Not really. This was before Combiner Wars when they started making larger combiners. Oh, anyway. Um, yeah, I, but yeah, you got, if you got Ruination, you will display pretty well with Scourge. Um, even though Scourge is a lot bigger than he would scale well with them. Um, but in any case, they did make a smaller version of Scourge to go better with Ruination. But in any, but yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I do like Scourge. So. so yeah, that should wrap it up for Scourge. A really nice figure. And a highly recommendable one. So, I do enjoy him. I'm glad I picked, <laughs> picked him up at uh, BombCon. Uh, this was the highlight of the entire event for me. And kind of a grail piece, really. So I'm very happy to have him. But, that's enough about Scourge. On for next week. Um... Last week I got a little bit of a request to do more Masters of the Universe figures. So I think I'm going to actually go through with that request and review one, like, well, a two-pack that came out earlier in the year. And that would be Snake Armor, He-Man, and King Hiss. So, tune in next time and we'll get these guys, uh reviewed. But until then, please do like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. So goodbye out there, whatever you are.